Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing great, preparing really, really well for the upcoming CAT. We are now about 100 days away from the upcoming CAT and we are going to discuss 100 amazing concepts in the next 100 days. So if you've not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe and keep sharing it with aspirants so that they can also get benefited. Let's start with the first concept which is very, very interesting. Today we about number of digits in an exponent. So this will be very, very interesting. Hoga. So for the people who, you know, who don't know this concept, it's going to be very, very amazing. Very, very important also from understanding a very important aspect from CAT standpoint. So let's start. Let us have a look. Manle, if I have to calculate the digits of A to the power, A to the power B can be anything. Right? So I have to calculate the digits of, let's say, 27 to the power 6. Right, let's say if I have to calculate for 16 to the power 8, how many digits in this in these numbers? How do I calculate? The form is very simple. 1 plus log a b. A, this is actually a to the power b. So this is a to the power b. And here you have a base 10. So now let us try and apply this. Outside you have a greatest integer function. What does greatest integer function do? Rounds of a number to the greatest integer less than or equal to that number. So let's say 3.2 ka greatest integer kya hoga? 3.2 ka greatest integer hoga 3. Na ki 4. Right? So that is something which is amazing. So dek 16 to the power 8 mein agar mein calculate karu. Sabse pehle I will take log with a base 10. I will take log with a base 10 to ye 8 multiplication mein aajaya. Right? Apart from that what will happen? I can also write this, this x, 16 as 2 to the power 4, right? So 16 can be written as 2 to the power 4. Now what is log 2 to the power 4? Again, this 4 comes out in multiplication. And I will have log 2 base 10. And I have 32 in multiplication. Log 2 base 10, if you see, the value is given 0.301. For some of these, you can remember it. But if the question comes in cat, you will always have the log table or the values given specifically. So don't worry about that. So this is log to uh, base 10, that is 0. 0.3. So now if I multiply it with 0. 0.3, this becomes 9.6, right? I put 9.6 here. 1 plus 9.6 becomes 10.6. 10.6, if I take greatest integer, the value will be equal to what? The value will be equal to 10. Right? So that is how you can calculate. Now you can use a calculator and see if this matches or not. Very, very interesting, good thing to start, uh, you know, learning in the last 100 days. Let us apply it to 27 to the power 6 also. Let us see how will it happen. So let's say my number is 27 to the power 6. So I will take log with base 10. So this becomes log 27 and I have base as 10. Now 27, I can write as 3 to the power 3, right? I can write this as 3 to the power 3. So 3 to the power 3. Now this 3 also goes here in multiplication. So this becomes 18 log 3 base 10, that is 0.477, right? 0.477 is less than 0.5. So I'll write it as 0.5 negative. So this becomes 18 into 0.5. This is less than 9. I have to add 1 to this. So this is this becomes 1 plus something less than 9 will be 9. Eight, let's say this is something called 8.8 .8 or 8.9, right? So it becomes 9 point something less than 10. So if I now apply greatest integer, this will give me a 9. So that therefore, the number of digits in 27 to the power 6 will be equal to 9. I hope this concept is clear to you. You can all apply this in more and more questions. I'll give you some questions for practice. You can all let me know the answers in the chat. Try these out and I'll see you in the next part. Till then, take care. God bless and bye-bye.